In this video, we're talking about Scrum versus Safe. First, let's start with Scrum. Scrum is a methodology born from the Agile Manifesto that basically attempts to create a software development lifecycle that works more with real life. In real life, things change, you learn things as you go, and the best results come from everyone participating. Basically, rather than spending months planning and defining, then months developing, then months testing until you find all the things you didn't anticipate, you instead do a couple of weeks worth of work, learn from it, do a couple more, learn from it until you reach your goal, leading to value delivered faster and better and a better end product with fewer defects. Long story short, Scrum is a great way for teams to produce high quality software faster and with fewer defects. It solves many of the problems Waterfall did not. The problem is that the waterfall methodology is usually part of a larger company-wide portfolio management cycle, meaning prior to the beginning of the year, all the important people get together and decide how the money is going to be spent on which initiatives. This results in big year-long multi-year pro programs, usually comprising of smaller year-long projects. Now we have a problem. We have teams who are moving fast and adapting to change, but then we have big wigs in big companies who've made decisions months ago that we now have to stick to even though we've learned and things have changed. This is how SAFE was born. SAFE is essentially a way for large organizations to plan in a more agile way. So SAFE isn't actually a competitor to Scrum. In fact, in the SAFE methodology, at a team level, you're still operating with Scrum. It's basically all the management, directors, and executives above the teams that have to learn to be more agile and responsive to change. The short version of SAFE is rather than planning an entire year of activities and sticking to it no matter what, you plan with all the teams for essentially one quarter at a time doing Scrum style activities on a larger scale known as a program increment or PI planning. The nice thing about the scaled agile framework is that it has layers depending on how committed your company as a whole is to be more agile. Basically, a single program or multiple teams working towards the same goal can do essential safe. Several programs coming together for one overall new offering or solution can do large solution safe. A whole organization can also include agile practices at a por portfolio management level known as portfolio safe. When you include all the layers from top to bottom, you get full safe. So long story short, there is no scrum versus safe. Safe is really using the principles of agile at each level of an organization so that every level, not just the teams doing the work, can benefit from delivering value sooner, reducing waste, creating realistic expectations, and the ability to better respond to an ever-changing landscape. To see a more detailed breakdown of the levels of SAFE with real world examples, check out the video linked in the description where I break down how real organizations like Google might work with all the layers of SAFE. I hope that helps. If you found that useful, let me know by giving me a thumbs up. If you have any specific questions about SAFE or Agile in general, leave them in the comments. And as always, subscribe so you can see your questions get answered. Thanks for watching.